my YouTube friends. That was weird. If you're a live streamer these days, you're probably looking at ways to multi-stream, both vertical and horizontal, or maybe both at the same time. And Stream Elements has released an absolutely amazing tool that can really help make this a lot easier. Today, I'm gonna show you how it works. So you know what? Let's get to it! Now, if you're not familiar with Stream Elements, pretty much everything they offer is free. They do alerts and all kinds of other stuff. This happens to be basically a plugin or an add-on to OBS, which makes it really easy to use. Now there are links in the description down below so you can download it and check it out for yourself and follow along. That is the best way to learn. Let's jump right into the install. All right, so here we are on the Stream Elements SE Live page. I'm gonna go ahead and click the download and it redirects and let's just take a really quick look at this we can start multi-streaming in three quick steps and a little bit of information about it and all that stuff unbeatable pricing which is of course totally free for every different aspect of this pretty simple to get started i'm going to show you exactly how to do it today so we have it downloaded let's go ahead over here go into our downloads and i'm just going to double click right here an administrative prompt comes up that you can't see so just click yes and it's going to search for your obs and then all you have to do is click next and then agree to the terms verify that this is the location of your obs now yours is probably going to be in c program files obs dash studio mine is in a different location so just verify that it's in the right spot click next then you want to select the components that you want to install now obviously I already have OBS installed so I don't need to check that just se live add-on and click install now I have OBS running so it's obviously going to tell me that I need to stop OBS from running before I can actually install this so for a couple of seconds you're not gonna see this but that's gonna be just fine and of course this is what it looks like when it's finished you can launch se live right away or create a desktop shortcut i'm going to go ahead and click finish on both of those and we'll launch obs and this is what it's going to look like when it comes back up into obs you're now fully installed now that we've installed it i want to make sure that i show you exactly how to get the most out of this so let me show you how to set everything up for both vertical and horizontal and there is a really really cool tiktok trick that I think makes this tool absolutely worth it. So here you wanna log into Stream Elements with the account that you basically set up your Stream Elements with. Whether it's Twitch or YouTube, that's the most common. Mine was YouTube, so I'm gonna go ahead and set this up. It just brings us here and we log in and we've got a connection successful. So now we can go over here and we're all set up. It adds some more stuff for us. So we've got an activity feed, which shows us everything that's going on in our activities. Multi-chat, really cool. We're gonna check that out later. And then we've got this uh, TikTok chat thing right here. Very messy. What we're gonna do is go ahead and close these out for now and reconfigure everything so it's the way it's supposed to be. The one thing we're gonna leave up here is our little piece down here on the right-hand side. And this is where it's gonna connect you to the different locations that you actually stream to in this particular case you can see i have logged in with my twitch account as well so that's listed here now why do they have two different youtube ones in here probably so that you can go to horizontal in one and vertical in one and they make it pretty easy to do that so i'm going to show you that in a second but you can easily add platforms just by clicking the plus and you can see Twitch and Kick and TikTok and all these are right here. And the cool thing about TikTok here is that when you select this, you can go ahead and connect to TikTok and you put in your TikTok information. And once you go through your sign in from TikTok, you're automatically entered to fast track so that you can get your stream key. So you don't have to do anything at all. And once that fast track is done, it's gonna show up just like this down here and you can just select TikTok. So you don't have to do anything to get access to TikTok live streaming. The main thing obviously is going to be to broadcast in vertical format instead of horizontal. I don't actually have a TikTok account, so we're going to set up for vertical format with our YouTube shorts. But I just wanted you to be aware that if you're looking for a way to stream to TikTok using OBS, this is by far the best way because all you have to do is sign in and you're going to be approved in seconds and you're going to be streaming to TikTok using OBS. That is such a huge feature and such a big benefit to using Stream Elements SE Live and their multi-streaming tool. So in order to stream to multiple platforms at the same time, you're gonna wanna just be a little bit cognizant of your bandwidth. 
The way you figure that out is to just go into settings and see what you're streaming at right now. So go into your output and your streaming and see. So I generally stream at 6,000 kilobits per second. And it shouldn't matter whether it's vertical or horizontal. If I'm doing 1920 by 1080, it should be 6,000 kilobits per second. So depending upon how many live streams you plan to do outwards, in other words, if you want to go to YouTube and YouTube Shorts and Twitch and TikTok or whatever, each one of those is going to add 6,000 kilobits per second to the mix. So you add that up, then you go out and you test your upload speed on your connection and assuming that your upload speed is greater than your added up bits per second that you do right here, then you have enough bandwidth. Now I would definitely recommend that you make sure you have a little bit of headspace above and beyond how many live streams you're trying to produce, but that's how you can figure out how many live streams your connection can support. Now if we wanted to do this live stream from here to YouTube and YouTube Shorts. YouTube Shorts is in the vertical format. And you can see we've got this scene, which is just like a just talking scene. And we have this scene, which is kind of just like a game scene. And so we wanted to set this up so it functions in the vertical format. The first thing we're gonna have to do is create a vertical canvas. All right, so what we're gonna do is go over here and I'm gonna turn this on and you can see that this is using the default canvas. And if I go ahead and click right here, we can go into canvases and we have our default one, which is the one that's already set up. We're gonna create a new canvas and we're gonna call this one vertical or vert and we're gonna do 1920 by 1080 vertical or 1080 by 1920. So there we go, click add. You can see it creates this nifty little canvas right here and we can just go and post it up over here. We're all set. So now all we really need to do is create our two scenes. So with scene one right here, we could go and add a source and we're gonna add my camera. So video captured device. We can add an existing one. Uh, we'll use the same one we're using over here. And there we go. And we'll just bring this over here like that and embiggen it, make it whatever, whatever we want. This is just a chatting scene. So we'll make it big enough. And there we go. Looks pretty good. Center it up. And there we go. So we're going to click here and we're going to add a second scene. Boom. And in this scene, we're going to go ahead and add a source again. We're going to do our camera and we're going to add our game. So we click the three dots right here, add a source. And in this case, I'm using a media source for my game footage, but you could load a game or whatever you want to do. So media source, and then I just have to add existing and media source and boom, and there we go. So now we have our two things here and I can line it up. I can move one above or below the other. However, I want to set up my, my second canvas, I can set it up just like that. Let's go ahead and shrink this down so we get more of it in here and we'll put it like that. And you get the point. You can spend as much time and energy fixing this however you want as you decide you want to do. But here's where it gets fun. So now we've got scene two and scene one right here. You can see it doesn't really do anything over here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop this down and we're gonna link scene to scene. And we're gonna go to scene two and we're gonna drop this down and we're gonna link scene to scene two. And now when we switch scenes over here, you're gonna see that it will switch on the other side. I'm gonna rename these since it doesn't seem like it's wanting to do what it's supposed to do. We're gonna call this just chatting and we'll call this one game. And now when I go in here and check the linked scenes, just chatting and we'll check this one. This one should be game. And now when I switch back and forth, we should get what we're looking for here. So there we go. Now it's working. I think the problem was that they had the same name. Change the name up a little bit and you're all set. So now you can see it links back and forth. It's really easy now just to get started. So what we go down here and do is we can see that this is linked now to the vertical canvas. We can turn it on. And now when we go live, we're live streaming to two different spots. We're live streaming to our vertical YouTube and our horizontal YouTube at the same time. So now that we have everything all set up, really all we need to do is just click go live or start streaming and we're all set. Now once we start live streaming, we can actually use some of these other tools that Stream Elements gives us. So if we drop this down, we can go into Docs and we can bring in that activity feed or specifically the multi-chat. And the beautiful thing about the multi-chat, we can put it wherever we want. And so if we're streaming to TikTok or whatever, all of the chats are gonna be in here. 
Now you can't chat back, it's multi-chat read-only mode, but you can see what's in here. You've got your YouTube and my Twitch, and I can turn off Twitch if I'm not streaming to it, and we're all set. Uh, we can also go in here into settings. We can show timestamps, highlight, at mentions, and change the font size. So we're going to get all of our chats in here for TikTok, YouTube, Twitch, Facebook, wherever we're streaming to. And it's as easy to add them as just clicking the plus. And if you don't see what you want to stream to right here, you can just click custom RTMP. And all you have to do is put in the name and then your server and your stream key. And boom, you can set up a custom RTMP. So you can go to Instagram or Rumble or wherever you want. You're not just limited to these. And you're not limited to two. You can do as many as your output is capable of with your home system. This is an absolutely fantastic integration that Stream Elements has set up for OBS that makes multi-streaming an absolute breeze. Now I told you it was really easy and of course I do have a couple of pet peeves. I don't like the fact that it changes colors in your UI. I mean, come on. Us diehard OBSers have gotten used to this crappy UI and we don't want someone just randomly changing it to try to make it look better. We're diehards. We want it crappy. Don't change the UI. There are also a lot of extra tools and docs and that sort of stuff that I think is totally unnecessary. I want the basic tool that adds multi-streaming and maybe the chat tool and that's about it. I would really rather see these things as light and trimmed out as possible so that when something actually goes wrong, it's easier to figure out what it is. When you add all this other stuff and bloat out your add-ins, I just think that you're asking for problems. But other than that, this thing is flawless and the ability to just add TikTok not have to worry about applying or anything like that. Well, I think that's what makes this really stand out as a multi-streaming tool. But I need to know what you think. So it's now time for you to let me know down in the comments below. And if you have any questions, you can ask them there as well. Now, if you wanna see another multi-streaming tool that's out there that might appeal to you more, you can check this video out right here. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks to help make you a better live streamer or YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.